Hey there. I figured I would just give a short review of this new uh, Evo Shift phone that I got. Um, first things first, I just want to say I really hate this phone. Uh, this is my old phone, the G1. Compare. Uh, G1, old, dated hardware. It's a slow piece of shit at this point. I got it running CyanogenMod. mod. It's still slow. It's better than it was. It's still slow. It has terrible, awful battery life, and it's not just because the battery's dead either. It's uh, it's a software or firmware issue on some level, and I still haven't figured that out. It takes forever to answer phone calls. Uh, takes forever to start up or run any application. Constantly crashes, freezes. Um, still far less frustrating, I'm finding, than this phone. I've actually waited two years to get this phone. Uh, because I hated this old one so much, and now I'm actually kind of wishing I could go back to this, but it's not a different carrier. I'm kind of stuck with it. Um, where to begin? First of all, I, I, I need a hardware keyboard with my phone. It's the main reason I got this G1. As you can see, it's got this nice, spiffy, snazzy uh, hardware keyboard, and uh, it's really actually quite easy to use um, compared to this one. And one of the things, uh, a few things I can point out first right off the bat is that if you look at the old G1, it has a dedicated number row. It's a larger keyboard, for one thing. It has a dedicated number row with symbols. Uh, it has shift and alt keys on both sides of the keyboard. Okay, so you can use it with either the left or right hand, which makes easy typing easier uh, you know, when you need to use shift or alt. And this keyboard, on the other hand, does not. It has a function key on the left side only. It does not have a dedicated number row, so you need to function the top key of letters to use any letter, any numbers, sorry, when you're typing, which means you have to left, use your left hand to hit the function key and then hit the letter, rinse and repeat. Um, there's only a shift key on the left side as well. There's got this funky thing over here, which I honestly can't think of a real reason you'd need to have this at all. It's got a touch screen. I mean, everything you're going to use this stupid cursor thing for, you can do better with the touch screen. So uh, they honestly should have just gotten rid of that and added function and shift keys to the right side of the keyboard. And they, and they really should have kept a number row. There's a lot of symbols on here which don't appear um, at all on uh, this keyboard. So you have to hit the function key symbol uh, to bring up that silly symbol menu thing, hit the symbol you want, and then rinse and repeat again. Um, it's a long and irritating, tedious process to type anything on, on this keyboard at all. Uh, no backslash key, no greater than or less than symbols using the function keys on the keyboard. You have to bring up that stupid symbol menu every time. Uh, the other thing that really annoys me is it's just so much harder to type on this. Uh, the keyboard's really poor design. It's got these little uh, flat buttons. They're very close together. They're large buttons, but they're close together. And they have a very, uh, very small key press. Uh, so if you got big hands like me, and I, you know, these aren't particularly fat, chubby fingers or anything, but they're, they're big hands, um, trying to type on this with my thumbs, I just can't seem to hit, uh, you know, fewer than several buttons at once. Uh, like, okay, I'm just, just for an example here, and I'm not going to intentionally do this wrong, uh, but, you know, you have to take my word for it, because it's hard to prove, right? Um, but let's, let's just type a, a quick example sentence here, okay. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy, oh, uh, shoot, dog. That's about the best I can do. I mean, really trying. I'm really trying there. Um, if I'm tired, lazy, it gets even worse. I could not decipher this sentence uh, if I was tired or, or drunk or something at the time. It's really awful. Okay. Um, let's compare that to this keyboard here. Now, this has... Uh, the buttons are a little bit smaller, but they're also farther apart, so it's it's easier to hit only one of them. They're also kind of rounded and raised at the middle, so if, as long as you hit the center of the key, it's not so bad. 
Uh, and let me uh, bring up here, if I can, hey, uh, let's make a new text message, right? And text someone or text nobody. But I'm just going to start typing in here, okay? So, by the way, the buttons on the left side of this keyboard are worn out, so the Q and A don't actually work. That's the only issue uh, you'll see with this. It's not have to do with the keyboard being bad. It has to do with the fact that it's three years old and worn out. So, quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog and. Perfect spelling, uh, no mistakes. Uh, quick, easy, painless. Um, you know, no backspace key. <laughs> this one here, I, I've uh, just trying to type one sentence on this. I've had this for a week to get used to. It. I tried to give it a chance. I really did. Um, I need an Android phone. I need a key phone with a keyboard if I can. I hate the on-screen keyboard. It does this stupid spelling autocorrect thing. With good God, God help you if you're trying to enter a URL or something that's not an actual word, and it will correct it six ways to Sunday, and you will fight with it for a long time trying to get it to actually spell what you want it to spell. Um, Another thing, it's got this funky button on the top. Uh, this one here has these really cool things. It's a call and end call button. Uh, you see there the, the red and green buttons. And that uh, allows you to make a phone call and end a phone call while you're in the call with the touch of a button. Really easy to use. Um, this one does not have that. It's got this funky search button, which you will never use. they got to put it in there, I'm sure, for marketing purposes, right? Because they want you to use their search thing to get ads. Um, but it, you're never going to use that button. Uh, you're just not going to use it. Or if you are, you're an idiot. Um, you know, or, or whatever. Maybe you use your phone for something I can't comprehend. But anyway, you're not going to use this button if you're a normal person like me. As if I'm normal. But uh, you got the home menu back and this thing, okay? Uh, this one has a, a fifth key for the menu, so it does have home and back, call and end call. Um, I could do without the call button, just because usually when you're dialing someone, you're going to have the screen on to do the dialing, right? So you don't really need the call button. But the end call button would be really useful, because say you're making a phone call, and you put them on speakerphone, and then your screen times out for whatever reason. I mean, it does this, right? The screen turns off, and you need to end the call you're done talking to them, whatever, and the screen's off. Now, you can't, the screen doesn't automatically turn on. This one does. If you, if you hit, if the screen is off, okay, and I can turn it off with that. The screen is off, you can turn it on by hitting this button, right, and it turns the screen back on. That's great. This one, you can't do that. These don't turn the screen back on. You can't end the call because there's no end call button. You, know, you can adjust the volume. You've got to fight for this little tiny button at the top, which is kind of hard to hit. Turn the screen back on and hit the end call button on the screen. It's frustrating. Why do they even design it like this? I can't comprehend why, how somebody thought this was a good idea. It's it's just awful. It's really difficult to use. Um, overall, I mean, I was really excited to get this phone. I mean, I waited years for this thing. I was told this was great. Yeah, thanks. I was told this thing was great. Um, I guess, I mean, maybe some people like it. I needed a keyboard. I saw it as a good idea uh, at the time because I needed a keyboard. I said, you know, it's got to have a hardware keyboard. I hate touch screens. I hate autocorrect features. I hate, um, you know, just difficult to use things. I mean, I do a lot of typing, texting, document writing, calendar. This is my PDA, okay? This is my my life in this phone, right? I mean, I've got everything in here. I can do anything with it. I've I've even done coding projects on this phone. I shit you not. I mean, it's not the ideal way to do it, but in a pinch, it'll make do. Uh, this just won't make do. No matter no matter how you look at it, it's, it's not going to make do. You know, and the frustration is just endless, okay? Uh, it just, it's really, really bad. And... I don't know what I'm going to do at this point. I mean, I still got a few days to, to upgrade, change, switch phones with Sprint, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to go back to the store today, take this back, and say, this isn't going to cut it. You know, this is not, this does not do what I need it to do, which is anything. It doesn't do anything <laughs> that I need it to do. Um, 
and see what they have available. I might try out the the Epic. I've heard people say that's good. Maybe the keyboard's better. I'd have to try it first to find out. Um, barring that, I guess I'll just go to like a standard Evo or something that doesn't have a hardware keyboard. Because if the hardware keyboard is that useless, it's and it, that it's actually easier to use the on-screen keyboard, which I hate. I guess I might as well just get one with a bigger screen, so I have a one less thing to hate the on-screen keyboard for. Um, yeah, I'm kind of a creak here. I, 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 I never thought I'd say it, but I, I wish I could keep this phone. <laughs> but I moved to a new carrier now, so that's kind of out of the question. Um, you know, support it. But, you know, as, as slow and shitty and irritating as this thing is, it was a good design. I like this. Are you listening, HTC? This was a good design. Bring this shit back. Okay? Update the hardware. Get us, get us a newer processor. I want this keyboard. This keyboard is nice. Okay? You know, it's a, it's a good phone design. Um, I liked it. It was great. Android was great. I love Android. Um, I love CyanogenMod. This is CyanogenMod on here. Um... I understand you can't do that with the, uh, what is it, the, the Epic? You can't put CyanogenMod on there. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, maybe. Um, you know, I would love to have my phone rooted at the very least. Uh, maybe get rid of some of this Sprint shitware that they put on here for no apparent reason. Yeah, turn the freaking screen on. Uh, for no apparent reason, they put, like, these, uh, like Sprint things on there, which I don't want. Um, and you can't take them off, because... Sprint's got it locked down. But, yeah, I guess bottom line is, don't, if you if you like a hardware keyboard, if you have big hands, don't get this phone. It's it's just awful. You know, especially if you do a lot of texting or writing or anything like that. And, uh, that more or less concludes my ranting, scathing review of the Evo Shift, and I'll probably go back to you know, I'm still using this phone. Um, I got some overlap here. I can use both phones up until, like, uh, middle of the week, I guess. A couple days, the contract on this one ends. And at that point, I guess I'll be shit out of luck. So, I guess I better do everything I need to do in the meantime. Um, and get a new phone. <laughs>